insect that is very tiny, smaller than a ladybug, that had a tremendous effect on the migration of people called the Great Migration back in the early 1900s. What do you think that insect might be? It has something to do with this plant that's growing all around me. This is cotton. So this cotton is ripening up, it's opening up, it's some good looking cotton here. But the insect that I'm talking about is the boll weevil, B-O-L-L. -L. And there are lots of different types of weevils, but a boll weevil is specific to cotton. It's not native here, it's native to Mexico, but it came over here into Texas and then along Southern states, all the way up North Carolina and Virginia, wherever cotton was being grown. And this was in the late 1800s, early 1900s, and it devastated cotton farmers. It wiped them out. What happens is that boll weevil will get inside of the cotton bowl and the larva, the babies, will ruin that cotton so that it's not productive. I have a cotton bowl. Well, let me show you one that's on the plant first. So this is an unopened cotton bowl. And when these get dry enough, they split open and then you see the white fiber. And I have one in this basket that I've already cut open. And you can see that there is fiber on the inside. That fiber is kind of wet. And so this one, I split open. It would split open on its own when it's dry enough. But that's where the boll weevil will lay its eggs and would wipe them out. The government had to get involved in helping to eradicate this insect because it was so detrimental. It just was ruining cotton crops and people were not able to grow it. Um, and so the government got involved, the USDA, which by the way is a very old organization that uh, legislation was signed in uh, 19, or 1862 by Lincoln, so it goes way back. But the government got involved in helping to eradicate this insect and now there has not been one found in a trap in at least 15 years. I wanna show you what one of the modern traps looks like. All right, this is a trap. This is a modern trap, obviously. It's made out of plastic. And this is a trap that helps people know if they have boll weevils on their property. Like I said, there hasn't been boll weevils found um, in the last 15 years, at least not in South Carolina. They have not eradicated them from Texas. But this is a pheromone trap, and a pheromone is a scent. It's a smell. It's something that the boll weevil is attracted to. And so if we had boll weevils out here on our cotton, then some would be attracted and get into this trap. And so when inspectors come to look at the cotton, they're not looking at each little plant, they're looking at this trap and that lets them know if there's a problem. If we were to have boll weevils here, then uh, that would be a huge concern, of course, since they have been eradicated in South Carolina, but we would have to destroy our cotton um, possibly burn it, but at least bag it up and remove it. And that would be a big deal if somebody had boll weevils on their property now. So obviously I don't have a live boll weevil to show you and I'm thankful for that, but I do have one, um, a dead one from our collection that I'm gonna show you. And so we're gonna show you a little bit of footage of a dead boll weevil so you can get the idea of how small this insect is. Very, very tiny, but a tremendous impact on the South. 